What's up guys? My name is Michael Lynn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do another League Code Grind Challenge. Basically, I'm going to do the first 30, because I already did the first 30 questions. And I'm going to quickly, you know, grind these out with you guys. And then I'll, I'll actually start doing them, the, uh, doing them with you guys. See how long it would take me to do them. Like, actually do them. Because right now, currently, I've already finished these questions and i'm just going over the solutions with you guys but in the next videos after the 30 video the 30 problems i already have done i will actually do it with you guys all right i'll do it with you guys i'll have will never have seen the problem before and i'll be i'll do the questions with you guys but for now well for these questions i'll, I'll just go over the solution with you guys anyway we're gonna do unique morse code words and what is this well Basically, this question is, is that there's a standard coding, which each letter is mapped to a series of dots and dashes. So A maps to dot dash, B maps to dot uh, dash dot dot, C maps to dash dot dash dot dash. Okay, so for convenience, a full table of the English alphabet is given below. Okay, so all these represents A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, up to all the way to Z. Okay, now given a list of words. Each word can be written as a concatenation of the Morse code of each letter. For example, CBA can be written as CBA, which is a concatenation of C, B, and A. Okay, so they're, what they're doing is they're changing whatever letter we're, we're at based on this Morse code. Whatever C represents, they're going to take that, get the letter C, which is uh, in this case, it's A, B, C, which is these values, right, which is this. And then they're concatenating it with uh, B and then A. That's what they're doing. They're changing the letters and concatenating to whatever letter it is. Okay. Whatever uh, Morse code it is. Okay. We'll call this concatenation transformation word of word. Return the number of different transformations among all words we could have. Okay. So given the input words Jin, Zen, Gig, MSG. The transformation of each word is Jen becomes this, Zen becomes this, Gig becomes this, MSG becomes this. There are two different transformations. Dash, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, and dash, dash, dot, 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 dash, dash. Okay. So the reason why they're saying two different transformations is because these this transformation is the same thing as this transformation. Right? So we're only counting different ones. So... And this transformation is the same thing as this transformation. So that's why in total there's only this transformation and this transformation. As you can see here, there's only this transformation and this transformation. Because we're only getting the different transformations. Okay? So how are we going to do this? Well, I will basically, you guys have to, I'll give you time to do this. Do this on your own. And then come back to this video and I'll go over the solution. All right, guys. So now that you've tried to do this yourself, I will try and I'll explain the solution to you guys. So first of all, what do we have to do? Before we think about anything, we got to think about the step-by-step -step process of how you would do this. First of all, we're given a list of words, right? And we have to convert through these words, these words into a transformation. That's what we have to do, number one. All right? So I'm going to put a comment right now. Convert each word into a transformation. This transformation represents the source code, right? Uh, not source code. The, um, the Morse code. And once we convert this, we need to get only the different transformations. Now we have to get only the different transformations and then after that we return the total number of different transformations okay so you guys understand this do you understand this algorithm currently we basically have a list of words we need to get oh we need to convert each word into a transformation like in this case we have each word right so this is a word we're gonna convert into its transformation we get only the different transformations. So uh, this, this, this. So there's only two different transformations. And after that, we return the total number of different transformations, which is two. Okay. 
So this is basically the algorithm. All right, now how do we do this? Well, first I have to go through every single word in the list. So here I'm gonna, in order to convert each word into a transformation, I have to go through every word in the list. So I'm gonna go through i is less than zero, i is less than words dot size, i plus plus. This loop will get go through every word in the list. So jin zen jigig msg. Okay. So words at i. This is the current, current. This is the current word that I'm at, words at I, okay? Now, I need to, once I get this word, word at I, right? I have to convert this. I need to convert this to its equivalent transformation, right? So now this, I need to convert each word at I to its equivalent transformation. How do I do that? Well, I'm given this table, right? This full table of 26 letter English alphabets. I need to use this table. So I'm going to do a string. Um, let's see. How should I call this? Okay, my bad. Okay. Um, vector. Actually, it, it wouldn't matter. String um, table, whatever. It has 26. And I'm going to paste this. All these 26 values right here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think this is the equivalent to do it. I'm not sure if these brackets really matter, but so this is the equivalent table. All 26. Okay. So now what am I supposed to do? I need to convert each word into a transformation. Well, what is this? This is a each word. How do I convert each word to its transformation? I have to go through every character in each word. How do I do that? You need to use a specific specific for loop. So I'm going to go up and search online. I forgot how it works for each character in a string, C++. Sometimes sometimes people forget. You know, I forget sometimes. Okay, so this is how you would do it. For each character in the string do something with the character. So for for uh let's see what was it for character ampersand for each character uh let's see see in the words list we're gonna do something with the character so now what am I gonna do with this character? I want to convert this character to its equivalent morse okay that's what I want to do. And then I got to concatenate it with with the next character and the next one and the next one. So I'm going to have a string called to return or transform. Let's call it transform. Transform string, okay? That's going to be empty. For every character, I'm going to transform each character to its equivalent value in this table. Once I transform it, I'm going to concatenate it to my transform string. So this would guarantee a transformation on whatever equivalent character to its equivalent Morse. This will guarantee it. So I'm going to do transformed string plus equals. What am I going to transform it to? I have to take the character and transform it to its equivalent value. So the current character is C. I want to transform this. Uh, not C. The current character. Oh, yeah. The current. Uh, maybe I said. Uh, let's not call it C. Let's call it current character. Current character. Current. C. Cur char. Yeah. Cur char. Cur char. All right. Cur char is current character. Okay. I want to convert its cr this current character into its equivalent uh, 26 value. So I'm going to go to the ASCII table. So here's the ASCII table, and we're going to look up what, how to convert the current character into whatever its equivalent form is. So here's the ASCII table. A. A's value is 97. B's value is 98. C's value is 99. Okay? So how am I supposed to convert this A to its equivalent value 
of twenty uh, of twenty six characters, right? A B C D E to this current value. Well, we're gonna subtract whatever my character by twenty uh, ninety seven. We're gonna subtract by ninety seven, and that will change this index to become zero. That way, if A is A is gonna refer to zero, B is gonna refer to one, C is gonna refer to two, D is gonna refer to three, right? So then A is gonna A's value is gonna be A's value, which is like a zero, is gonna be this, right? Zero is gonna be this. B's value is gonna be this, because it will be one. C will be this, and D will be this, and so on. So I'm gonna subtract my current value A, which is 97, by 97 to get back to zero, to go to zero, because I want to index it by zero. I want to index each of these by zero, right, in order to get its equivalent value into this array of 26. So I'm going to take current character minus 97, okay? And I am, in order to do that, I have to convert it to an integer first because, I mean, that's just how it works in C++. Uh, I'm going to convert the character, okay? Once I convert this into an integer, I need to... This is will give me the current index of the whatever value I'm changing it to. And so I need to get the equivalent based on that index, which is table. So in order to do that, I have to do table at the index of this. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. Okay. I basically changed this, its equivalent character into its equivalent form by subtracting 97 and basically that changes the index what I'm indexing to back to zero right and that's the reason why I'm doing this so now now once I get my current index and its equivalent form in the table I could index it at that table so then this would be a's value would be this b's value would be this c's value would be this d's value would be this and so on and so forth so this would get each character's equivalent morse then I concatenate it into my transform string and that basically will this would basically return all the different transformations for each character okay so uh, just to not blow my brains out I'm gonna print this and I'm gonna run the code so ideally I should get oh what what's going on uh, Oh, I forgot a semicolon. Okay. Uh, wait. No, I need a semicolon. I need. Okay. Do do do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I ran the code too much, too too many times. But. Uh, okay. So, ideally, this is what it will do. Okay. Um. I ran the code too many times. Jeez. Okay. Uh. So, ideally, this this would return its equivalent, each of its equivalent transformations. Okay, now what do I have to do? Now, I want to get each different transformation. I need to get only the different transformations and return the total number of different transformations. So, which data structure prevents duplicates? Duplicates. The data, which data structure prevents duplicates in C++? Well, if you remember, it's the set. Set, remember, set prevents duplicates. Mo, just set is a data structure that prevents duplicates. If I have a set of things and I add something new, it prevents blue duplicates from occurring. So what am I going to do? I am going to have a set called different transformations okay then for each transformation and here I'm gonna add it to different transformations so different trans uh, whoops dot insert we're gonna insert each transformed string and what is this gonna do this is basically going to prevent duplicates from occurring after that this would get only the different transformations and it prevents duplicates. 
After that, I want to return the total number of different transformations. And how do I do that? I have to return different transformations.size. That will return the total number of different transformations. Okay? And that's basically how you would do it. That's basically the solution. Let me submit it. Wrong answer. What did I do wrong? Uh, let's see. What did I do wrong? Do, 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 do. Something must have occurred. Okay. There is some 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 issue. Hold up. Mm -hmm. What was the wrong answer? Output was three. Expected two. What was the different transformation? Insert one. Insert two. It's a three. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see the solution that I had before. Pretty sure I did exactly the same thing though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dot size. Hmm. I mean, I didn't have 26, but that wouldn't matter. Convert this, cast this. That was the only difference. Let's see. We submit it. That's really strange. Okay, I am going to debug this and see what's the issue of why I am not getting the same answer as what I had before. Let's see, to add, okay, so this, this was my solution before. And let, let me just see which, which, did I forget something? For every character plus equal. I set that return my set that size plus equal for every current character Let's see, what am I doing wrong? Okay, to transform, insert transformed string, transformed string, empty, table, do, 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 do. Let's print out, let's print out each transformed string. Why am I getting, let's see, why am I getting the different answer? This is a good thing about debugging. Debugging helps you. Debugging helps you doing these problems. They actually help you do these problems. Okay, so I have dot, 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 dot. Oh, hmm, hmm. I have an equivalent space. What is the issue? Why do I have a space? That's a big question. Let's see, plus equals. It is empty though. It is empty. Convert it into an integer, huh? I don't think that would matter here. Current character convert it to its integer plus minus ninety seven. That should work. Table integer. Ooh, could it be this? Extra parentheses. I don't think I would have mattered. Hmm. Something's not doing the way I thought it would do. Okay, guys. This calls for drastic measures. We're going to open Visual Studio and we're going to debug this code with you guys. You know, sometimes this, this is what I love about these videos. That sometimes, that sometimes things don't work out the way you think it would work out. And you actually end up learning way more about, about <clears throat> code that you never thought it would happen before. But yeah, I'm going to debug this and see what's the issue, why my previous code worked and why my current code is not working. Let's just see what, what's going on, okay? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, okay, here's, here's my, here's my code, ship, uh, my code forces code. Uh, I'm going to paste my solution here and I'm going to call the function passing in those, those, uh, the two values there, and then I'm going to debug it. Okay. 
I'll debug the code and see what's going on. Okay, so uh, here's a current program that I created. Okay, and now we're we're gonna let's remove this this solution. Let's remove this. Keep this. We're gonna keep this. Ooh, it formatted correctly for me. Okay. I'm gonna create a vector of words. Is it in? Oh, string. Yeah, string. We're gonna push back. What are we pushing back? Gen, gen, zen, gig, msg. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gen, zen, z, msg. Let's just push. Let's let's do. Let's do it this way. Okay. Gen, zen, push back, gen, push back, zen. Push back gig. This is just to make sure that they're in the right order. I mean, I could have done like a one initialization there, but I didn't want to. Okay, now we're gonna do C out a uh, unique representation, and we're gonna pass in words. And yeah, is password reference okay? Yeah, it's password reference. Okay, let's run this. Let's see why I'm not getting the right answer. Okay, so it's going to start out with the transform string. Okay, we're going to add. Okay, so this is right. This is right. It was only until the last one it was weird. So let's go to this. Let's do this and then we're going to do this until we reach the last one, which was this one. Uh, which I is this? I is two. Size was four, right? It was MSG. That was weird. Oh, I skipped it. Okay. My bad. Uh, okay, let me just quickly do this again. Do 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 do. All right, eyes one, two, three. Okay, okay. So size is four, three. Uh, MSG. Okay. So we have transform string. Change the M. 109 should minus 109. What is 109? Minus 97 should be dot dot space. Oh, I'm having an issue. Dot dot space. Oh, I didn't copy and paste this correctly. Ah, uh, see, that's the issue, guys. It's this is wild. This is this is a good thing about programming is that you learn things that you didn't expect you would know. So I didn't copy and paste the uh, one of the, where is it? M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, this one. This is way too many spaces. So, okay, so this is, this is M, let's see. A, A B C D E F G H I J K L M dot so this is what should be and I didn't I didn't copy that uh, there should be no spaces here I think yeah there should be no spaces here all right now it should work when I run it yep to submit it and it gets accepted. All right, so that's basically how you do unique Morse code words. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, if uh, if if the video turned out way longer than I thought. But it's good to learn debugging. It's good to learn these set of skills. Rate, comment, subscribe. 